Welcome to DSpace's 2014 Midwest User Conference. The importance of the DSpace Midwest User Conference is the opportunity to come together and view a diverse set of perspectives. And in general, it just gives us an opportunity to better the engineering profession around embedded software design. As an engineer, we thrive on using new technology. We thrive on having the possibility. So, we established a dream goal. We want to be able to do 85% virtual development of our software. Uh, why Oshkosh is uh, interested in Autoza, uh, there's uh, several aspects. Number one is our customers, uh, especially on the defense side. Model-based design was a huge enabler for the compression of these projects um, and execution in times that in the automotive industry I would, you know, could not have, have uh, perceived uh, as possible. Now it looks like FMI is going in that direction, so everybody's going into that direction and see and support it, and that's maybe that's the good way to share this. What would be a good time to start model-based development? Now. Today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yesterday. Now, now is the time. Everybody wants to have powerful, versatile systems. So we came up with a new idea. And this idea is that we're going to combine common features. And we are not talking about low-end features. We are talking about high-end features in one compact design. And want to offer that for an inexpensive price for good value. So what's the system? It's called the Micro Lab Box. This system now um, offers a really, really powerful package with, without any compromise, really. If you have a look at the box, it's equipped with a PowerPC processor. It's a dual-core, 2 GHz processor that can run even large models very, very fast. In addition to that, we have an FPGA on there so that you are able to offload model parts onto the FPGA for example, if you run uh, closed-loop applications that are faster than 10 microseconds. Um, what we also have is high-end I.O. More than 100 channels, analog, digital, CAN interfaces on here. When I saw um, what the developers did, um, they gave me this box and I was impressed what features they could squeeze into this little box. It was great. And this beautiful picture was taken in Paderborn just before shipment to Tuscania. And it consists of, as you can see, if you count them, it's 14 cabinets. But this is a big system and it took three years to complete. So basically we can simulate all possible, possible vehicles that can, Scania can produce. For these space tools, we're using two tools. We're using Target Link, which we use to do an automatic code generation based on our MATLAB model. And the benefit of using Target Link is that we get a high quality on our C code and you can read it and easily understand it afterwards. We use DSpace tools to support our entire model-based design process. So we used everything from control desk and the hill benches to do bench testing and simulation of our models. We actually used a micro auto box as our vehicle supervisory controller and we automated all of our testing using Automation Desk and Synect, which was really helpful for our team. It feels pretty great to know that, that all the hard work that the team has put in over the past three years uh, paid off and we won the EcoCar 2 competition, uh, came in first place and uh, won the championship title. On the right side of the V, uh, we are heavily using the DSpace tool chain. To be able to use model-based tools and uh, have them synchronized across the left and right side of the V. And we are also looking at DSpace Synect for synchronizing some um, uh, workflows between PLM tools and test execution tools such as DSpace Automation Desk. Uh, 